Hi there, this is Janet Gerson Siegel and I'm the Lonely Writer. This is serious social media help for the independent author. The independent author is defined as a writer who does not yet have an agent. All this month I'm doing daily prompts for NaNoWriMo. Uh, the prompts are in various orders, so if you follow them all in lockstep from 1 to 2 to 3, you're probably not going get, to get a terribly coherent story. So please feel free to mix them up. Uh, work a few of them more than once or uh, go out of order or skip some or look at them after uh, the month is over. Whatever you want to do, you're certainly not going to hurt my feelings if you don't just follow everything. Today's prompt is just one word, very simple and very generalized. The word is rain. Now, what does it mean when we talk about the brain? Uh, now, of course, we mean water, right? You know, we mean the water coming out of the sky. But it can also have something to do with being inconvenienced. You know, when we, uh, when we listen to a meteorologist, we watch one on television or on the internet, uh, we hear percentages these days and, uh, you know, it, it, it's rather precise and it's very scientific. But every now and then, the meteorologists don't quite get it right because the, the model needs to be changed. And so, if we're told that there's a 99% chance that it won't rain and we bring an umbrella with us, uh, then people might look at us funny. But if the 1% happens and it really does rain, then we congratulate ourselves as being smart and prepared. And if the opposite happens where we're given, you know, a 99% chance it's going to rain and we don't bring an umbrella and then we get soaked, well, whose fault is that? Or we have a 99% chance of rain and we don't bring an umbrella because we're feeling lucky and maybe we turn out to be right. So it, uh, so when it rains, it's, it tends to be a little more inconvenient very often for us, but, uh, it's also, you know, rain, it comes in various, uh, amounts, you know, there's, there's degrees of inconvenience. Uh, a flood of course is way different from a drizzle. Uh, you know, a couple of, uh, little bits, you know, drips and drabs kind of coming off the trees or, uh, you know, falling on occasion, I, I think for most people it isn't terribly inconvenient and doesn't really bother them that much, unless they're wearing something that can be ruined by water. But a flood, of course, is, is hazardous, floods so are lethal. Uh, now also is the, the question, uh, is rain only about water? And uh, what if we instead mean overflow when we talk about rain? And I'm not just thinking about like a like a storm sewer being backed up or something like that and you know flooding in the streets where they look like streams but also uh where where stuff is sort of coming down you know i mean why does it rain you know there's there's too much moisture the moisture comes down uh and yes i'm sure someone's going to tell me that that's not quite scientific but do you know what i'm talking about where the where the clouds feel heavy and they start to pour and so rain also kind of has this connotation of uh having too much and tipping over and spilling over. Uh, so if we look at it a little bit differently, what about growing crops? What if you're a farmer or you're a gardener? And so rain is a fantastic thing. Or even if you're just a homeowner and you've got a, got a lawn, uh, rain is great because it means you don't have to water and you don't have to spend time watering or pay for it for that matter. But uh, there's also the connotation of things like Noah and the flood. Uh, I mean, why is there a flood myth in a lot of early mythology? It doesn't necessarily mean that floods really happened. It's it's more like it's a kind of a an ancient people's disaster movie, and you can you can sort of get a get a concept of separating the wicked from the saved or from the just. Uh, it it's uh, it's really easy to see that when you have a flood story and you have a boat story because there's the folks who are on the boat who are the saved and the and the righteous and whatnot, and then the folks who are who are um, who drift away, whether that's deliberate or not. Uh, but rain also has a very positive connotation of kind of this unexpected uh, free gains. I mean, if you remember the old song, "It's raining men," or it's you know it's raining anything, you know it's raining pennies from heaven. Uh, so you get this unexpected extra bonus in your life. So what does the rain mean to you? Finally. This is Janet Gerson Siegel, and I'm the Lonely Writer, because an independent writer never has to be alone. Thank you so much for listening, and good luck with NaNoWriMo.